Hey guys, it's Kate. Thank you so much for tuning in and welcome to another speed build. I built this house for a very special collab with Thomas TV, and I'm sure you all know about Thomas TV already if you're into speed builds, which you are obviously are because you're here. He's a great builder and I just love his mansions and family homes and just anything he builds. And so for this collab, I built this house, I built the exterior and the landscaping and Thomas TV furnished this house on his channel. So after watching this video, make sure to head over to his channel so you can watch his video and you can watch him furnish this house. I linked his video down below in the description box right at the top. So please make sure to check him out. Uh, in case you don't know Thomas TV yet, let me tell you, you won't be disappointed. He builds the most amazing houses and you're going to love what he does and now we are going to jump right into the speed build so for this house I was going for a very traditional classic American colonial style and usually I build houses that look more fairy tale like or dreamy and most of the time I'm not even planning for this to happen so I just start building and then I get carried away with adding details and flowers and lots of things and then it kind of looks fairy tale like sometimes I mean I can't help it, but in this case I wanted this house to look very classic and traditional, like a proper family mansion. I still wanted this house to look unique and creative, so I still added a lot of details without going overboard and I kept the classic. I decided to use some shutters at the front. When you look at colonial houses, shutters are very typical and they just tie the whole look together. But I wasn't really a fan of the base game shutters, so I decided to make my own. I used some vents that I colored black and then I stacked three vents on each side of each window to create the look of a window shutter and I think it works just fine. I used black for the roof and for the stairs and the shelves underneath the windows and just many details and the window shutters at the front in black just tie the whole facade together in my opinion and this is what makes it look balanced and as I said this is just so typical for a colonial house and because this is such a classic traditional family mansion I decided to build a garage. I just thought that this would be perfect for this kind of house and usually it can be difficult to have a raised foundation and then you have a ground level garage but I built these in the past and in case you have no idea how to build this I will quickly explain this. I also made a tutorial about this by the way I'm going to link it down below. I also want to say in case you're confused why I'm explaining this to you while we will be getting the update for the foundations in the next days. Even after the update it will still be impossible to build a garage like this without a little trick like this because we will be able to pick different foundation heights for different rooms but you won't be able to connect to rooms that have two different foundation heights so there still has to be one grid in between them but this update is still so perfect for building a greenhouse for example so your house has a raised foundation and then the greenhouse is ground level. At least this is what the guru said in the live stream so I don't know maybe we're in for a big treat and surprise maybe it will be added to the game in the update I don't know but this is what was said in the live stream we are not going to get actual proper split level homes so I don't know a lot of people seem to be confused and seem to think that this is what will be added with the update so I just thought that I would quickly explain this but now back to the garage. So for the garage you simply build a room and then you build a basement right underneath. Then you activate the bb.move object sheet, you go down to the basement and then you use a sized up door frame that you add to the basement. So the bottom part is in the basement and not visible but you see the door frame at the top. It's um, It just looks like a garage gate in a way and then you just add loads of windows and the windows at the bottom that I added just create this typical garage pattern and then you use a base game debug object that is just a unfinished painting it's just a piece of paper basically and you simply add this to the front this way you can hide the foundation at the bottom which just looks like a garage door it's very simple and I also used a little decoration car that I sized up and I placed it at the front just so it looks even more like a garage it's just decoration and perfect for any kind of suburban house or for a family mansion for for any 
but like this in my opinion and the car is actually a decoration it's not a toy so you simply won't use this object when you're sizing up objects that can be used in game by sims it can look a little bit funny <laughs> when your sims are playing with a huge car for example but this is just a decoration car so this is not a problem in this case and as you just saw, I decided to add some flower beds to the front. If you have been around for a while on this channel, you are very familiar with the base game debug brick. I used this brick. I, I'm, I'm sure it's not even a brick. I don't even know what it is, but it looks like a brick and it's a lovely debug object. And I love to use it for stuff like this to frame flower beds and curve paths and stuff like this. And I decided to keep the flower bed very classic. So I just used some terrain paint and added some brown so it just looks like some soil and then I added some flowers but I kept it very simple and clean I did not want to go overboard with the flowers because this was just distract from the house from the facade so I was going for a very clean look in general and I continued this seam for the flower beds as well and I used the terrain paint tool to paint a curved path that leads from the front right to the back so your sims can use this path to enter the garden in the back i mean as i said in the beginning i built this house on a 64 by 64 lot and i decided to place the house basically right in the center so there is plenty of space for landscaping all around and i want to include some flower beds and the the driveway for the garage and also the little gazebo that i just worked on and stuff like this but i still wanted to have enough space in the back to create a classic garden because let's be honest for a family bench like this that just has to be a lovely garden so i still included a typical garden i added a pool and a barbecue area on a patio and a swing set a monkey bars and another flower bed just like the one that i built in the front and i just think it turned out so nice and the gazebo is just a little place for the sims to hang out in the front and I think a small detail that makes the front look more special is the little roof that I added to the porch area and then I used two fences on the side, two columns and then the little decoration that looks like a pedestal or something that is part of the vampire pack and I do think that it makes the front look more regal and special and I also decided to add some autumnal trees. These trees are part of cats and dogs and I thought that I just wanted to add some color and warmth because when you look at it there is not much color going on at all because I want to keep it very classic and as I said I did not want to use a lot of flowers that would distract from the facade and these trees are just at the side they just frame the house all around but they're not in the center of attention the color does not distract from the build at all and while the trees have a lovely color they they don't really pop this is not really a pop of color it's just a lovely autumnal reddish brown it's just perfect to add some warmth and color without without being the center of attention so i don't know and i'm i just love autumn as you guys know <laughs> And now Halloween is already over, which makes me a little sad, but now I'm starting to look forward to Christmas a little bit. It's my birthday on Sunday, so I don't know, for me it's always been like that, that I'm looking forward to my birthday first and after my birthday, because it's in the middle of November, then Christmas season slowly starts for me. I don't know if that makes sense, but I don't know, when I was younger I was looking forward to my birthday so much, so I don't know, I didn't even think a lot about Christmas until my birthday was over but now I don't know when you're getting older you just um, stop looking forward to your birthday as much I think I don't know I think I already stopped doing that when I turned 20 probably <laughs> I don't know but uh, I mean I'm still looking forward to it in in a way I mean like having a good day with my, my boyfriend and, and family and stuff like this so I hope that it will be a lovely day 
And here I'm starting to work on the aforementioned garden and the patio area and you can see the garage on the left side and I'm also going to add a little patio and a door there and the wheelie bins because I felt that this is just, it just makes sense to do that for a garage and I'm just so excited how Thomas furnished this house. I haven't seen anything yet and I'm just so excited. He's so good at this and I'm excited to see where which room is located and all that stuff. I did the floor plan as you will see I just um, erected the floor plan and built the walls on the inside but I have no idea how he furnished this and which room is which room and all that stuff and I'm also excited to see how he furnished the garage what he placed inside and all that this is just so much fun and I also want to say thank you to Thomas TV for doing this with me um, the sims community is just so lovely I only started a few months ago and I met so many lovely people and the sims community is generally just so welcoming and is just embracing any new member of the community and there's so many lovely people and I don't know I just love being creative and the sims community is a place where people are generally creative together and work together and support each other and all that stuff and um Doing collabs is just a lot of fun and it's just so interesting to meet new people and it's just great and I can recommend it to anyone. A collab is so much fun and thank you to Thomas TV for this and yeah I'm excited to see how the house, the finished product turned out and in case you want to play with this house or with the finished version that Thomas TV furnished, I'm going to add all the information down below in the description box. I'm going to add my gallery ID and Thomas TV's gallery ID and I'm also going to quickly mention them. My gallery ID is Kate Emerald. You're going to find the unfinished version of my gallery and Thomas TV's gallery name is Real Thomas TV one and you can find the finished version in his gallery but just check out the description box. You're going to find all the information down below and I'm also going to list all the packs that I used for this unfinished version so you have an overview. And here you can see how I worked on the floor plan I can't tell you much about this because as I said I have no idea which room is going to be which room but I can tell you what I had in mind when I worked on this floor plan. I built a hallway right at the center at the bottom and top floor so there's just a hallway that can connect all the rooms and I added a room at the end of the hallway um, so I don't know it could be a bathroom for example and of course I added rooms to the top that have a decent size so there can be some bedrooms and I also added some smaller rooms at the back that could also be bathrooms but I don't know what it, what they are really going to be I'm so excited for this and at the bottom I just included multiple big rooms and I created one room just right at the garage so um, there is a connection at the back where I added the back door so this is it this speed build is slowly coming to an end thank you so much again to Thomas TV and I really hope that you enjoyed this video as always I included some screenshots at the end of the video but of course only screenshots of the exterior because in this version the inside is still unfurnished and just empty but I still included some screenshots from the top so you get an idea how the floor plan and the inside looks looks like but I didn't add any descriptions to the floor plans because I have no idea which room is going to be which room and I'm so excited to see it and yeah just leave a comment down below if you have any questions or constructive criticism or just anything I will get back to you and if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and I hope I see you in the next video bye bye